Good afternoon. We are tracking more snow in the valley. The second event of the season and it's still October. We're still talking about winter weather here. We're looking at a few flakes flying around in Grand Forks where we've got some passing snow showers right now. That's actually Devil's Lake that we're looking at here in this view. And we may see some soon in Grand Forks as well as these snow showers continue to make their way through. So watching out for some flakes. That's going to, of course, reduce your visibility and we add wind to the mix and uh, that's really going to lead to some issues here as far as travel is concerned. So taking a look at your radar, you can see that we're starting to see these little clusters of snow showers moving into the valley, some around the Devil's Lake area, uh, some that are just to the east of the FM Metro and north of Grand Forks as well, and then more to the north of the border there too. Uh, and these are dropping south and east, rotating around an area of low pressure that is going to continue to sweep through. It's going to stir up some wind as well. And that combo of wind and snow, that's our concern here heading into the rest of the day. Visibility looking fine in the south. Those of us in the northeast where we have a little snow going on. Visibility is down a bit. Our lowest number in Roseau at two miles. Seeing some redu reductions in visibility in Devil's Lake at four miles there. And taking a look at our wind again, we've got wind speeds that are not so bad here in the valley starting to pick up. We've got a wind speed of 20 in Devil's Lake, but they are stronger to the west and to the north of us. And that wind field is coming our way. So we're watching out for that. Temperatures are below freezing in just about every location here in the valley. The exception is Sisseton at 33. It's 30 in Fargo and in Grand Forks we're at 30 degrees and we'll go up a couple more degrees from here but overall keeping a cold day in place for today and as the snow continues to drop in that's just going to add to our issues here as we've got temperatures near freezing and snow that probably will uh, be sticking here or get blo getting blown around or both of those things happening as we make our way into the afternoon. This is a four o'clock hour temperatures upper 20s to some low 30s snow showers continue to work their way through right when we've got a lot of folks trying to get home from work and from school here today uh, so easy does it this is the time to give yourself lots of following distance uh, easing off the accelerator there here's where you're looking at that snow coming down and it might be a situation where it's just fine while you're driving down the road for a little bit and then you run into one of these rounds of snow and suddenly your visibility drops like that so uh, something to be aware of here don't want to be slamming on your breaks when you're running into one of those snow clouds and then as we make our way into the 11 o'clock hour tonight the snow is starting to taper off still seeing some in eastern parts of our viewing area but check out that wind this is when we're going to be seeing some strong wind gusts and that combo again leading to some very low visibility with some lingering snow showers into early tomorrow morning and we'll start off our halloween on a cold note especially up in the northwest where we're looking at some single digits there so snowfall potential there's a lot of places that'll just get a dusting of snow and then there are places that will get in that one inch range or more and that's especially likely north and east and then those of us downwind from our big lakes that are still open and relatively warm this time of year could see some heavier snowfall rates with lake enhanced snow so i want to talk about our wind gusts here shortly because this is going to be a big factor for us we'll start to see these winds picking up this is 6 p.m tonight already gusting into the 30s in the devil's lake area at that point then this wind field transfers eastward you can see some gusts into the 40s and that that is going to be a problem for anywhere where we get fresh snow or where we have falling snow. So again, some tough travel here coming up for tonight might not be uh, terrible everywhere, but the possibility is uh, there that you could run into some issues. Now for Halloween, looking at uh, cold temperatures, the snow ends, but the cold sticks around and we stay cool to start off November. Yeah, definitely might have to bundle up, especially for tomorrow. You have a pretty cool costume, <laughs> but still bring a jacket with you just in case. Sure, you know, maybe get creative with maybe putting the exactly. costume over the coat. Maybe you could try that idea. outfet. We'll yeah. see. It's going to be chilly. It definitely is. Lisa, thank you so much. Well, millions of people living with diabetes straight ahead at noon will have some ways to help prevent health problems from the disease.